<laughs> welcome everyone. to Wilson Wednesdays. Hi. Hi. Hello there. <laughs> Well, welcome to Wilson Wednesdays. Yes. We are here. We're back. We Dave are the Wilsons. Taylor, high school youth pastor Dave Taylor, yes. took over for us last week and he did a phenomenal job as he sat in my office. I was confused because I thought it was you. Right. When I first turned it on, I yes. was like, that, that's Jeff's bookcase. That has to be Jeff. This is his office. It's his desk. I'm glad it must he be explained Jeff. it wasn't him. It wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. Um, but we just went somewhere last weekend mm -hmm. that we wanted to share with you this about. This past weekend. This past weekend. Yeah. Would you like to say where we went? We went to the married couples retreat. MCR. MCR mm. in the house. Yep. At the Mike house and Susie Rodriguez, desert. who are part of Refuge, have this incredible. Forever. Oh. Are, are, <laughs> have incredible team of people uh, that meet together in the year, throughout the year, and pray together over couples. Uh, organize all these things at a really nice hotel yeah. um, at an affordable price yes. and it's a weekend yeah. away and we want to say if you are a married couple or you have grandkids who are married mm -hmm. or sons and daughters who are married mm -hmm. you should send it to them next year yes. send them to this next year yes they do an awesome job that the whole team that puts it together they spend the entire year like they are probably already planning next year oh year's. yeah and throughout the year, they get together and they pray together about the retreat and start working on stuff right away. It's two um, hours away. It's just a yeah, quick it was two, just Palm Springs. Coachella Valley. Coachella Valley. La Quinta. La Quinta. It was fun. It was um, fun. No, it was great. Yeah. And it wasn't too hot this time. I mean, it was like in the so nice. 90s, but uh, usually when we go in June, it was, was like it 100? 100? Oh, yeah. Usually when we go in June, it's like one it's hot. One but we may go in June again, So, but you can still get past oh, the Oh, that's heat. true. Yeah. Because you're inside. Yeah. Inside, and there's a pool, pool and there's air conditioning and there's air conditioning. and there's places to, eat, Lots and of places to eat the coolest not the coolest thing but one of the cool things this year was that we got to see a lot of young couples coming and we love having all the different stages and all the different ages it's what there. makes refuge refuge yeah. But it was cool to see some of our former high school students, when Jeff was doing high school ministry, are now married yeah. and at the retreat. And just seeing them start off it right in, in the sense of like wanting to get connected and wanting to learn and grow from the Lord and not the yeah. attitude of like, we're... We figured it all we're, out. We're good. You know, because you do yeah. that if you're like newlyweds or even if you're yeah. a new mom, you can be like, I or, read all this stuff, but I'm going to do, I'm going to do oh, yeah. better than all Or you <laughs> feel like uh, we don't have it together. We're really yeah. struggling in this first year of marriage. And everybody else does. And everybody else is yeah. going to have it figured out, which is just a lie. Yeah. One of the cool things too was, and kind of to Bethany's point, is that there there was a couple there that had been married for 52 years, mm -hmm. and then there was a couple that had been married for three months. Yeah. So that was cool. And, yeah. and then many, obviously, in between. Yeah. I think there's like 80 couples that come that I think were so. there. Yeah. Yeah, so 160 people. Yeah. And, and the fellowship and the hanging out in between sessions. Yeah. And I feel like That's people huge. can go to this and not really know a lot of people yeah. at Refuge, and they're going to get to know some people and couples at Refuge. Yeah. I mean, and Great. the speaking... Yeah, so Jim, Come on now. Jim and Christy Gallagher from great. Calvary Chapel Vero Beach they in Florida. The cool thing is they both grew up in Huntington Beach. So HB they were locals. Oilers, graduated from Huntington High School. So that was kind of fun to connect with them and hear their story. Um, yeah. And so they really, he said at the end, they really connected with us feeling like, oh, you're from like my hometown and, you know, all that stuff. Yeah. So, um, but really great messages on marriage and building blocks of marriage and... Um, yeah. And Christy shared as well, so it was good to hear from both of them. And I was going to say the worship was Oh, awesome. come on. Yeah, Bring it. it was so good. Dominic and April Bally. Mm -hmm. um, Emily. Emily. Why did you say April? I don't know. Emily Bally. Um, yeah. Love them so much. And both of them together um, really ministered to us yeah. as a group, having us pray over each other during that worship time and just leading us in a really sweet time of worship. Yeah. So it was really cool. And then Je our own Jesse Rodriguez -Rod. led the last Sunday, and that was sweet as well. They, you know, the the couple retreat or the, the team, they try to get uh, top quality at the speaking area and in the music and worship area, and I feel like they uh, they really did that this this year yeah it was, it was great yeah, it was amazing. the amenities in the hotel are phenomenal they actually upgraded the entire hotel so we've been going there for a couple of years yeah. and this year we, it was upgrade. like walking into a brand new yeah new carpet new everything so yeah it 
was cool. You got to come next year. Uh, the thing, one of the things that stood out to me uh, is one of the messages that Jim gave uh, was uh, about, he was from Psalms. And I don't remember which psalm it was, but it was uh, the idea that there was these these little foxes who were going into the fields and they would destroy and ruin the fields. And so his warning to, to us as married couples, I think even if you're watching this today and, and you're not married, uh, the idea of these little foxes uh, ruining parts of your life, if you don't take care of the little foxes, yeah. you've got to figure out yeah. what are those things that are keeping uh, my fields or my relationship yes. with the Lord or my relationship with my spouse from growing yeah. and pay attention to those little foxes uh, that will at times sneak up and get into your fields and, and, and wreak yeah. havoc uh, on your fields. And so that was one of the ones that stood out to me yeah. and he came up with some different uh, little foxes. Yeah, And uh, it can be like the smallest things like attitudes towards um, the people around you or it could be, you know, bigger things of, you know, whether you're watching something like, you know, I don't know, pornography, um, addictions or anything like that, you know, those yeah. foxes that, that can start really little and just destroy everything. So that was huge. And he talked about, um, hiding under the, sh the shadow of the almighty. That was, mm, really that was cool. good. Um, the protection that comes from, um, hiding in the Lord and what the Lord spoke to me that I kind of just shouted out at the end at the very, very Which end sh was I shouted like, out. Shout it out. So I shout it out. No, yeah. not like that. But that I want to encourage you, whether you, no matter what stage of or season of life that you're in, um, is that go to people with what, uh, with, if there is something that you are dealing with that you are feeling like, I'm probably crazy. I am probably the only person who deals with this. If you're a married couple, we are probably the only ones that are ever going through this. We, I'm not talking to anybody about this. And the Lord really impressed upon me to share, like bring those things to light because I promise you somebody else in the world and probably the person that you talk to has gone through what you're going through. No, somebody is big. So you're never going to be like this big shock to somebody of like, I can't believe yeah. you think that I can't believe you feel that way. And so when we bring things to the light, the enemy, the power that the enemy has in that thing, when we keep it inside and we let him bring anxiety and fear and, and all these other things playing with it in our minds and then we attack it with our own minds, it takes the power out of it when we bring it to light. So I had shared something with Jeff at the retreat that I was feeling and just verbally bringing it to the light and praying together over that thing um, just brings so much freedom and so much relief in it. So I just encourage you in whatever wherever you are in your walk with the Lord, if there's anything that you just are are wrestling with on your own, to really pray about maybe um, going to somebody and asking them to pray for you over yeah. that thing. Yeah, which is why also too, it's important to be in community mm -hmm. um, so that when those things come up, you have a trusted sister or trusted brother uh, that you can go and share something like that with. And um, those are relationships oftentimes built over time and seasons. And so being in community with a group of people where you feel like, well, I'm hearing that I need to share this with someone and here's who I would share it with. And yeah. just, yeah. Um, real quick, and then we're out. We're out. Wilson Wednesday will come to an end. Um, if you want to listen to those marriage messages that were uh, given by Jim and Christy Gallagher, uh, we're going to have those on refugefamily.com in, in our, our uh, uh, message section. Sermon section, I think is what it's called. I can't remember exactly what the like label is. Studies. Within the next couple of days. So, yeah. uh, and, and you can send those to someone. You could listen to them yourself. However you want to do it, they're available. They will be available. Have a great rest of your week. And we'll see you hopefully either tomorrow night uh, or tonight at Resonance. Or we will see you this weekend. Yeah. Have a great week. Yeah. Wilson's out, right? Wilson's out. <laughs>